What is up guys? This is Mike. Welcome back to my channel. This is Matamathic Swords. I know it has been quite a long time since I have posted a video and so this is sort of an update video to let you guys know where I've been and what's been going on with me and yeah so um, recently someone very close to me uh, passed away and um, as a result it kind of it was unexpected and it it turned my life upside down for a little while I just didn't have the time or the energy to go ahead and make sword videos and, and just put in the time and the effort. I wasn't really feeling very creative and to be honest with you, I was quite down. Um, you know, things are still a little difficult, but um, you know, I'm getting through it and I thought I would get back to doing some of the things that I enjoy and that I really love. And that is, of course, uh, reviewing swords and stuff like that. So um, also in my last video, I... Um, made a little announcement the very last video that i did that i was going to add a new element to my channel and uh start reviewing some other stuff and so it is kind of sword related and uh we'll get to that in a second but i just wanted to let you guys know that uh, i am going to try to get back into this i am going to start reviewing some swords i do have some very cool um acquisitions that i've made uh recently and like I said, uh, with everything that's been going on, I just really haven't had the opportunity or felt up to reviewing those things. And I wasn't going to do like a half ass review or anything like that because it's very important to me that um, it's done correctly and that I give you guys my full and honest opinion of um, certain things so that it, you know, that's the whole point of this channel, right? Is to give you guys information so that if you're interested in buying, um, some of the stuff that I review, at least there's some information out there from someone else that um, has actually experienced those items. So, yeah, uh, one of the things I'm very excited to show you guys um, that I will be reviewing shortly. Um, this review is probably going to take some time to to do because I just want to make sure I I do it justice. Is uh, you'll see on the on the wall here, I have a new sword, and uh, that sword I have been waiting for. Oof, I want to say for probably about eight months, eight to nine months, actually. Uh, it is a sword by Arms and Armor, and it's uh, the Erbach Schloss sword, or the, um, or is it the Schloss Erbach sword? Uh, it, <laughs> I'll have to go ahead and, uh, uh, there'll be a link down in the description below. Uh, I'll put it in there. I think it's the Erbach, Erbach Schloss sword. Uh, it's German. Right, it's a uh, German longsword of the, I think the, um, I want to say the 15th century or the early 16th century. And um, Arms and Armor produces these guys, and you know they are actually quite expensive, and they do take time. Uh, they're made to order, so it's not really a custom sword. It is a production sword per se, but um, it takes them months because they actually hand make these things. And the thing that is fantastic about this is that they have the original, or they have access to the original um, from the U.S. Oakshot Institute. So they were able to actually make a extremely good replica of that sword using modern high-end materials and yeah, I'm sure you guys know Arms and Armor they do a fantastic job and they're very well known in the um, sword collecting feel um, hobby and uh, they're just a great piece and I will tell you that this thing is amazing now you'll have to get uh, I'll go into more detail with it um, when I actually do the review and uh, underneath it is also a newer acquisition. That is a, uh, a katana that I had made by Sinosword or Jeku. Um, they produced that for me. I ordered that and um, I gave them some specs and they, they produced it. Now there's an interesting story about that one and once again that's, that's one of the upcoming swords that I'm going to be doing a uh, review on. And I don't know if you guys noticed, I don't know if you can see it, there's a box right here um, so I got a sword in here so that I will be reviewing and uh, I'm sure you guys can see based on this type of packaging if you guys are uh, have ordered swords like this you'll know where this uh, generally speaking where it came from uh, it is a, uh, a Chinese made sword um, 
you guys can probably tell from the packaging. But anyway, that, that will be uh, for an upcoming review. So like I said, once again, this is kind of an update video. I just wanted to show you guys that um, trying to get back into this stuff, trying to um, use this hobby to kind of clear my mind. And I wanted to show you some of this really cool stuff that I've, I've recently um, acquired. Uh, another sword that I'm gonna be doing a review on. And um, I actually have had this one for a while and I cannot wait to actually review this thing because um, I think it's a beautiful sword and I was really excited to purchase it. Um, and I've had it for a while, like I said. This is the Dark Sword Armory um, Squire. Um, squire sword and um, I've had this I think for probably about a year now and I just haven't gotten around um, to reviewing it but it, this is this is definitely coming up soon and <laughs> this guy is awesome too uh, I'll give you a little sneak peek of the blade Ooh, there we go all right so this is um, something that's going to be coming up for review and uh, I'm very excited about that one and I have another one here I'll show you I have a bunch I'm not going to go through um, all the swords that um, I have coming up for review because you know there's just too many and I want to kind of keep this video a little short um, if I can get it out here uh, all right well it came out of the sheath so I might as well show it to you this is a sword by uh, traditional Filipino weapons uh, that I have also been waiting on um, trying to get my hands on one of these for a while. This is a Senzabar or Senzabar sword from uh, TFW. And this thing is sweet. I actually cannot wait to get around to cutting with this thing and uh, reviewing that. So um, along with those swords that I just showed you, I have a bunch of other stuff that, we're, that I'm gonna review. Um, I had already had a, a large back catalog of stuff to get through that I wanted to review and you know like I said with uh, this person passing away it just it really put a damper on all that stuff but you know trying to get back out there and do what I love because it does bring me joy and hopefully it brings you guys joy too so um, also want to show you the new element that I'm going to introduce to this channel and um, some of you guys may really like this because um, I bet you a lot of you are also interested in this uh, this particular hobby like I am and so um, when I, w I started collecting knives um, before I started collecting swords a long time ago when I was uh, a child uh, I got my first knife it was like a uh, cheap shred um, like a cheap I think it was like a seven dollar shred knife that I bought from a Walmart and I absolutely loved that thing and I cherished it so um, yeah, and then that started the love of collecting and using knives. And uh, also my father really influenced me there. He had a small knife collection and I, you know, just drawn to that kind of stuff. And obviously you guys can see I'm, I like bladed things. <laughs> um, so I have a large collection of um, folding knives and fixed blade knives. And so I thought that I would start doing some knife reviews because I have so many of them and I am quite passionate about that hobby as well. And I suspect that a lot of you guys that are, or girls, that are into um, swords are also into knives as well. If not, that's cool. You don't have to watch the knife videos. You can just keep watching the sword videos. I, I will pre, uh, be producing those as well. Um, but I just, I'm very excited to add this element into the channel, add something a little bit different, give you guys, um, show you guys some of the other stuff that I'm into besides swords. Oh, and also, um, there's a few other historical weapons that I've acquired recently, um, you know, that are just, they're medieval um, weapons. That's all I'm going to say that I'm going to also review one of which I also waited a very long time to get. Um, and I finally snagged one. Uh, I, I can't even actually believe I got it. Um, but, you know, I cannot wait to do that review. And I, I kind of want to spoil it, but I, I'm not going to. So, um, yeah, so 
knives. I have a huge knife collection and uh, knife collection, and you know, I carry an, I, I EDC a knife every day, and um, I thought it would just be really cool to start introducing that stuff on my channel. So um, here's a box. I'm not going to do any reviews today. Um, my next review will be a knife review, and um, then I will shortly be doing. Uh, after that, I'll be doing a sword review. So you guys that are waiting uh, for another sword review, I have one coming. So it's going to be cool. And so here's a box right here. This is uh, one of those uh, Apache um, hardcover box. Um, hard cases it's sort of like a pelican case knockoff um, these things are great for storing knives and also other things firearms if you're into that kind of stuff and and other things um, I saw someone that actually had a watch collection that was stored in one of these and so th these things are fantastic but anyway this is just a piece a very very small piece of my knife collection I was going to show you um, one of the ways that I actually store um, some of my folding knives and as you can see this this one is is not full uh, but I believe me I got much to the chagrin of my wife I have a lot of knives <laughs> so um, anyway I just wanted to show you guys that um uh, collect those things and I'm very excited to actually start doing some some knife reviews now I know that collecting knives is a very uh, mature hobby meaning like it you know people have been doing it for a long time and I think it's much more established than collecting swords right I, I, I would venture to say that a lot more people collect knives than they do swords um, obviously it's swords are very uh, like a niche hobby right but um, still I love doing both and I want to share that stuff with you guys and so uh, stay tuned for that and uh, yeah I'm just happy to be back um, feel free to message me if you have any questions or whatnot if you have any questions about these swords um, you might want to hold on because um, the reviews for those are coming <laughs> dude you guys this thing <laughs> this sword from arms and armor is just it's an amazing piece and um, it, it you guys are going to really enjoy that 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 review it's going to be it's going to be awesome all right so uh thanks for stopping by my channel today guys i hope you guys uh view this update video and um i also hope all of you guys who do subscribe to me um that you are all doing well and um you know thanks for sticking around if you are still a subscriber um if you're a new uh new person on my channel you know thanks for stopping by also and uh can't wait to get for you guys to start seeing my reviews again all right thanks a lot guys and i will talk to you soon bye